This will be a quick little tutorial on how to get rid of text either at the beginning or end of a string of characters in cells in Excel. Um, we're going to do that using both the left function and the right function coupled with the length function. So if we want to take, um, it, it feels a little backwards, but if we want to take characters off of the right of our character set, we want to use the left function. And likewise, if we want to take stuff off the left of our character set or from the front of our character set, we use the right function. So first, let's start with the left function. And what we're looking at here is perhaps a um, history of purchases that has the age of the purchaser, the gender of the purchase, and the year of the purchase. But we only need um, either the age and gender or the year. So if we just want the age and gender, so we want to eliminate this 2015. Again, we're going to use the left function. So we're going to start the left function, and we're going to tell Excel what text we want to look at, and we want it to look at um, B2. And then we want to open up the length function, which is LEN open. And then we are still looking at B2 for this. And we want to remove, so we put the negative sign, four characters from the end of our uh, character set. So when we do this, we should return back 40F. And if we carry this formula down, we should get just the age and the gender for all of our customers. Now let's say that we want to return the years and put them in their own column. We would use the right function because we're trying to eliminate characters from the left or the front of our character set. So we do that by starting the right function, opening up the parentheses and letting Excel know which text we're talking about. We're talking about B2 again, and we open up the length function, LEN, open parentheses, and we tell it we want to look at B2 again, but this time we want to remove the first three characters. So we put negative three and then we close the right function and we just return back the year. So if we cascade this down, we see we get the year of purchase for our entire data set. So this is a really helpful function if people have put in uh, data incorrectly or they've uh, put two different data source, sources contained within the same cell and it is text and not a formula that you could simply add or subtract to. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope this helps.